It is the 11 o'clock hour here at 90.3 WMSC Upper Montclair. And we are here with the guest of water, Kyle Pepitone. Hi, I'm who, still here. Who has been doing quite possibly the most impressive thing I have ever seen here at the radio station. He has been on air since midnight of Yes, of still day. He's been. I ruined that. <laughs> no, I, I completely it, I muffed it up. But the it is the most amazing feat I've ever seen on radio this semester, and that includes the musical we made. This is impossible, Kyle. This is impossible. Kyle has done the two biggest, most impossible tasks I've seen in this semester that I've ever seen in my th- two and a half years here. <laughs> Kyle, how are you alive? That's a good question. And uh, I, I get that. I get asked that a lot of times. And what I like to say to that is, uh, you know, you got to be yourself. Kyle, this is absolutely amazing. I am so proud of you. I can't begin to describe how proud I am. So tell me about the day. It's the last hour. Everyone that's been, if you haven't touched in on all of the show, because I, as much as I'd like to see that everybody listens 24 hours to us, what what happened in the 24 hours? How was your experience, Mr. Pepitone? Well, give me one second. I will answer that for you. I think the best way to answer that is to just give a recap on the entire day for my in- final hourly recap. So I started midnight today uh, on the graveyard shift. Hi, Jared. Um, by hour four, I was already starting to feel tired. Not not a good sign. Um, but I, I powered through. And by the sixth hour of graveyard shift, uh, moving from 6 to 7 a.m., I stepped out for a little bit to eat something and get ready for the morning buzz because that one's important. Can't mess that one up. That being said, we flew through that easily. Morning buzz, mwah, beautiful. Next was King's Cast for three hours. I've never done a three-hour lo- long show before. So... I split it up, three different topics, a couple different guests each round. That went smoothly. Then I got a one-hour break because of Kenny's flashbulb memories. Thank you, Kenny. So me, Marty, and some others went to get food. That was nice. And then disaster struck when we hit 1 a.m. The story cut out. Uh, I can only reach so much. So I'll continue talking. Yeah, what did I say? You said 1 a.m. Oh, Uh, yeah, 1 p.m. Kyle, Kyle, are you okay? Not really. So we hit 1 p.m. Also, Um, by the way, I just want to say, I'm sorry for cutting you off. Also in studio is Mari Zuniga. Hello. And we have Emily McCormick or Emal McCormick. I'll say I'll say it correctly. And we have McCormack. I'm so I said I said the first name. And also we have we have the man, the myth, the legend, the the entertainment creator of WMSC. Jared <laughs> Calber. Currency. And also, we have who is the first of all, the most t- t- mentally tough person in the studio, continuing his story. Benjamin and I- Patrick. What? <laughs> nah, it's not. Nah. Plot twist. All right. So, sorry to I'm, leave you I all will off. mute you if you keep mooming. Sorry. Sorry <laughs> to leave you all on a cliffhanger. But uh, once 1 p.m. hit, disaster struck. I didn't have a guest, I didn't have a plan. I didn't have a sense of consciousness. So me, Jake Getz, Laura Zaccardi, and Mar- Marty, were you there? Yes, I was. And Marty, all just, and Chaz, all gathered into the studio with no plan. We were just going to start talking. Ch- uh, not Chaz. Laura and Jake start talking about tarot cards. And next thing I know, I'm, I've bol- jolted awake because I accidentally fell asleep. So I'm like, okay, let's just, we were at 45 minutes at about that mark. I'm like, all right, we're cutting it short. Played music for 15 minutes. Took a 15 minute nap during tunes on Tuesday. Thank you, Jared. I was already scheduled for tunes, so I didn't miss out an hour there. Cool, I got a 15 minute nap in. Not great, but I'll take what I can get. What comes after two? 3 a.m. Happy hour hit. 3 p.m. When you? Kyle, stop. 3 p.m. Happy hour oh, hits. A lot of, a lot of. By the way, I have to say, a lot of hand motions over here. <laughs> I feel like he. I gotta keep like, moving to stay like awake. Three p.m. A.m. Gotta keep doesn't keep matter. Anyway, gotta keep moving to stay awake. Keep three p.m. Happy hour, hosted window. by Kenny Horn and Lars Zaccardi. We sung "Trees," which I believe was Kenny's farewell song. Hey, yeah. Um, 
No, his farewell song was the the Beatles song. That one. Well, we sang trees to him. It it, okay. it was a, a, a send off. It send off song. It was yeah, he emotional. Photos. Yeah. <laughs> to say the least. Pilot? Yeah. Yeah. No way. Yes. Twenty one yeah. pilot trees, Jared. It only made sense. Oh, awesome. Let's see what else we sing. We uh, sung All Star. I think we covered it pretty well. Uh, we sung Alone Together by Fallout Boy. We sung Baby by Justin Bieber featuring Little You guys Bieber. sung Baby by Justin Bieber. I didn't. Boyfriend. And then Kenny finished it off <gasps> with. What is. Uh, we did sing that one. Did uh, sing that one. I get Boy. by with a little help of my friends by the Beatles. And that wrapped up Happy Hour. Four to five was Zillennial Life with Chaz and China. Um, once they started. So it was cool. We started talking about holiday movies and stuff. But once they mentioned that uh, three of the four Ninja Turtles have died, uh, I need to step out and think over some things. You have, to, you have to collect yourself. Yeah, I didn't know about that. But apparently in the comics, yeah, three of out of four of them are dead. <laughs> so uh, spoiler alert for that. Uh, I hope you guys all have a pleasant Tuesday evening. <laughs> <laughs> and then three of the four Ninja Turtles are dead. <laughs> I'm not going to say who they are. though. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and then we reached hour five. Tunes on Tuesday, everyone. Thank you again, Jared. I got another break, except I had to go to a class. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry. Not a full 24 hours, but I did my best. Education. So I went to my class, presented my final project. All well and good. Who cares? Did you pass? I don't know. Grades aren't up yet. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Yes. You passed. But it was, yes. In, it was interesting to see everybody's project. That was cool, but that went pretty long. So that skipped the six o'clock hour. Moving right into the seven o'clock hour, I was shot. I come back from class. I'm like, I can't do five more hours. I just can't. And then I go into the office. Kaya, Ben, everybody else who was there. There were a lot of people. I don't remember everybody. But they gave me the motivation. No, they didn't. Keep... No, they didn't. Ben Kaya gave me the motivation. Kaya told you to quit. <laughs> Kaya told it's you been to a quit. long day. I don't remember exactly. Kaya told you to quit. Nate said it's okay to quit. And I was like, you're not quitting. <laughs> okay, Ben was the only one who gave me motivation. I, 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 I li- no, 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 no. It was not. Uh, I didn't give you motivation. I gave you no choice. Yeah, that's Wait, fair. Uh, Kaya, it was did we find out your middle name? No. Okay. It's, um, it's, it's, I'm not it's even taking Kevin. credit. I'm just not letting Kaya take credit because she motivated okay. you to stop. Fine. I'm like, I'm not letting point her is, get that. Point is, I came in here hour seven or seven hour. o'clock and eight o'clock. Just to check in, I, I couldn't talk for five hours straight. Okay, no big deal. I apologize. You still heard me. That's all well and good. So just hung out, collected myself, got the energy, had some carrots. They were good. Hey, I was there. You were. You had soup. Whoa, I did. Carrot, I had like a soup. Fish. So oh, I had no. some carrots and celery. We come back, nine o'clock hits. I bring in the rest of WMC, those who were crazy enough to still be here for some reason. We started off the last three-hour segment of today talking about anime with Yaz, Jake, Nate, Jared, and then Emil and Monty were there in the background, and Kenny made a surprise appearance too. Then we moved on to the second hour where we kind of just talked about, we just gave a weather forecast for an hour. That happened an hour ago. Feels like forever. But yeah, Jared gave us a weather forecast, and we just kind of talked about that. And now we are here in the 11th hour, figuratively. This is like the 23rd hour or whatnot. So now that we got through what that has been today, my recap. The re- so I have decided because I like to be Kyle's big brother. I decided that for the celebration of the final hour, I think Jared, I think you can join me alongside on this. And I think we tell for the next hour stories about Kyle this semester. I think we say the best moments of Kyle mm-hmm. and I'm going to start. Is it okay? Is it okay, Kyle, if I start and Kyle, yeah. you can intervene at any point, but is this a good show idea? I like it. Yeah, let's go. Starting at 11, want to, 11. So the first, the first story, so um, the first story I have for Kyle was when we started the musical and you, you brought, Jared said that we need to write songs and uh, he really asked me to write two songs, right, Jared? You want me to write two songs? You wanted me to write uh, World War Radio and you wanted me to write Used to Be. You, yeah, um, I... I think so. Yeah, I mean that's. Those were his. Those were Ben's two <laughs> big songs. Those are the two. So I, I didn't, I didn't assign anyone certain songs to write. I just knew which songs, or or rather, which characters would be most prevalent in which songs. So I knew that Ben's character, 
also Ben, was going to play a big part in those two songs because he's really, uh, he's, he's the only one who sings in World War Radio. And um, he's a, a, the lead and used to be. And so um, it just so happened that Ben also wrote used to be and uh and world war radio did you also yeah yeah and and world war radio so the uh, story goes like this right i didn't know uh i was unaware of that i didn't have to write it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> unfortunate <laughs> um but i remember that um kyle and i were standing there and i thought i had to write those songs i thought that that meant i had to write them like i took it like that like i just I believed... see. so when i took it like that i was like all right Kyle seems to be Jared's sidekick in this musical. And I'm like, I kind of just want to bang these songs out. Like, let's get it over with. So go, Kyle, let's go to Studio B. Kyle, this was the first I realized that Kyle will just do anything. Because <laughs> Kyle's like, okay. <laughs> Kyle gets up, grabs his notebook, and follows me. And we go in. And Kyle, we're in there for 10 minutes. About 10 minutes, we have both songs done. It was, at least the rough outline it was rough outlines like kyle we use i ad-libbed both songs and we had the lyrics and then kyle made it make sense and then you walked in and then we were just that's when i was playing the uh the well, i mean yeah the, well, I mean, darn well i mean darn the song so when i played that um it was that that was really funny and that was really cool how kyle was like okay and that's one of my favorites because Kyle, you just were like, we did this in 10 minutes. Yeah. And it was, and it was really just Kyle giving me a direction. And then I just went, all right. <laughs> and then I just started like making fun of Kyle. And then Kyle was like, and then we just together just figured it out, like to make it make sense with the story. Yeah. And uh, I think you want, I think we should play the one that Kyle, I think you like uh, well, World War Radio more, right? Yes. World War Radio and Dead Air with, uh, singers uh, who who cares about the the first one, but Jake Getz comes in on the second part of the song with his That's beautiful right. voice. It's just so it's so it's just it's just oh my gosh, it's like an angel. But without we we'll, we have to say though the song was not possible without glasses man over here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I got done telling the story of how me and Kyle wrote two of the songs in the musical in about ten minutes. And now, Jared, what's what's your story about Kyle? So, here's one. This is about how. Oh, Nate Williams has just joined the fray. Nate Williams has entered the chat. Hi, Nate. So, this is now going to be about not the song from Nightmare, but how the cover art came to be. And as we all know, or if you don't know, Kyle Papatone designed the cover art, but it was based on my concept which I briefly described to, I think I, I showed you a, a, like a Google picture of the Antarctic. I'm like, I'm thinking it's like the beacon. It's right in the middle, but it's like a, in a, a distance away. There's like mountains. Um, and then you see the Northern lights in the sky. And he's like, yeah, yeah, okay, I can do that. I'm like, really? <laughs> he's like, yeah, okay. And then um, I think it was just later that day, or maybe it was like the next uh, day. It was, a, it was a rough sketch. A su- yeah, a super... A super As, fast By the way, around. I have to say, Jake Getz and Nate Williams have entered the building. <laughs> There's a super fast turnaround. I mean, yeah, we, we, we got a sketch first, but then, like, not too long after. I had much, work that day. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'll just do this at work. Pretty much. I wouldn't have worked at work. <laughs> ask Ludwig. <laughs> pretty much um, the, the cover art that we see right now is what he put into the, the Google Drive, the shared Google Drive with just minor changes to come yeah. afterwards but i was like uh yeah, guys all of us <laughs> look just, at this yeah we we saw in the chat we were like oh okay <laughs> like it went from it went from rough sketch to like yeah if you people in here that can't draw you know when like you see an artist do like a sketch and all of a sudden turns into like the whole drawing mm-hmm. and you're just like how that's what happened yeah yeah it was literally, it was literally that oh yeah do you, uh, did, do you have the sketch right oh, here course. The pencil sketch. Kyle has the his yes. sketchbook out oh my God, right here so in the studio, yeah. and yeah, there it is. That's the one you showed me. That's yeah, it. I remember right. There, there was initially going to be some debris, this like studio the debris, yeah. in in yeah. the the foreground of. I remember that. That was like one of my notes, and then and then 
we decided that it looked better without it. We just had we just had penguins. Yeah, we just added penguins. And then and it's funny, it's it's great how much it looks exactly like the the actual art, what it ended up being. Uh and there's a little snowmobile here. There's no snowmobile in the actual art, yeah. but this is still my yeah. um home screen. It's yeah, Same. it's mine too. Mine too. I have a poster of this hanging up in my room. But so, coming from me, that just makes it sound vain. Am I am I am I, am I horrible for not having that picture? Oh, you're not my life. Okay. I'm like I'm like I feel bad now. Jake, do you have it anywhere? Okay, I'm not the worst. Okay, and now so hold on, really quick, Jake, yeah. can we get a base? No, I want it. I want it next to the mic. We need it. Base, nice. And All that right. was only the second time. Not only, not only, but I'm, I'm, I meant to say that that is not the first time. That is not the first time that Kyle has come through with cover art. For me, because when I made my song, advice for uh, advice, advice from, from a DJ, DJ, yeah, advice from a DJ for the WMC talent show, the one that Weird Al Yankovic listened to. He did. Yeah, he listened. I didn't to know it. that. That's awesome. So uh, I I wanted a, a cover art for it, something that said DJ Doctor JJ or had a logo, and I sent Kyle a picture of myself in front of a green screen, and he made this really awesome like two thousands rapper looking cover art with, with, a, with a really cool DJ Dr. DJ logo that has the D's looking like J's and vice versa. And it's like this cool thing. And I'm like, oh my God, I, I feel, I feel, I feel like a pimp. <laughs> Damn. Feel like absolutely, a, absolutely. And uh, Kyle, where did, Hi. how did you get to the point? Now I'm going to interview you. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Pepitone. How did you, where did you become an artist? Was it just like, uh, was it just born, were you born that way or did you like get better at it? What was That's it? That's a good question because I've been working in Photoshop specifically for many years, but I have no idea. I cannot remember how I got into it. That's a fair point. Because it, it, it's, it's not like Monopoly. It just doesn't come standard with everything you buy. It, you, the, Photoshop is a thing you have to pay extra for. It That's doesn't like, come standard with a computer, like uh, Monopoly with a house. That was a very good quote. <laughs> and then you, you you doubled down on it, which made it a little I just had little to make, make little sure iffy, Kyle. Yeah, I just had to make down, sure but Kyle's gonna have to repeat it. Trivially. Yeah, one more time, Kyle. What what is it like? Monopoly. Bas- basically, the life, the board game. In in art, at least in my family, we a thing we like to say is like how how does how does nobody own a game of Monopoly? It comes standard with every house. Oh. Uh... Because it just happens to be there. That's not the point. Well, it's probably more detailed than whatever I'm saying now because I, I just do not remember how I got into doing digital art. I bet you just, I just he's like, I was born that way. Even the iconic I, I wasn't iconic fact, trailer trailer to the documentary. My one of my favorite quotes. I was born this way. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the Spoiler. thing. That's the that. weird thing too. For the longest time, my sister was the artsy one. And she took art and drawing classes and stuff, and then just total turn of the tables. Mm. I'm the art one now. I'm going to college for art. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm graduating in May. I don't know what I'm doing. So you're doing well. No, you, whatever you're doing, you're doing it well. I hope so. Are you graduating this May? Yeah. You're graduating in the spring? Yeah. I thought you had another year. Unfortunately not. I go into the real world. <laughs> Another year, another candle. Okay. <laughs> for the cake. Oh yeah, that's another awesome thing we did. We helped Kyle write a song for his parents for their anniversary. Okay. It was I, awesome. I have to say, that was the most adorable thing I've seen. Yeah. yeah. And Sal and Kelly exist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, or if you remember earlier today, Sal requested. Um, you know what? I'm not going to say in case Kelly is listening. Zip. <laughs> But you remember, Kelly. Nothing happened. <laughs> nothing suspicious. Um, do I know about this? You yeah, should. You remember. You were there. Oh. Were you? Were you? Oh. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Right. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's, okay. It's memory. If they're coming back. Forward. Okay. I get it. I get. Okay. I'm. I'm. I'm on. We just we just said an inside joke where the people are where the listeners are like what 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 Maybe what is this? The way to each other's eyes. <laughs> Maybe it's the way we love each other on that Friday night. Maybe it's the way that we sang that song. Maybe it's the way that we love all night long. 
that sounded like a sad Christmas joke. <laughs> ben, <laughs> ben, you have made your mark on this station. Uh, I don't know, but uh, I have to say, you know, what's the funniest part about um, all this is that the the moments Kyle has had, and I think all three of you, should, uh, Nate, get the third mic here. Sorry, sorry, you guys, you guys weren't there. So um, I think the funniest, as it said at the end of Doc, I'm the Tom Holland of your documentary, Jade. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm spoiling it. But the- you, helped, you actually helped me structure the documentary uh, really well because uh, you had you something to say. You had something really nice and eloquent to say about everyone. And I was able to like, determine the sections yeah, and the flow the, of the doc the on that. For everyone. Yeah. Was really cool. i was oh man i realized i was like man i really just i really just poured my heart out i showed like the the nice side of me i was like i was not cocky in there nice side. Oh, yeah, nice. yes i was like so, man you said, you said like it doesn't exist i'm like i need to be cocky again <laughs> <laughs> i need to like i need to feel like i'm a man <laughs> everyone let their guard down even kai was like gassing you up yeah the, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but uh, the I I loved how um I love the moments that were were like ridiculous, like the iconic the iconic story of Kyle Pepitone, which is Kyle did not get much sleep yeah. one night, much like today, much like today, and Kyle the next day comes in. We're working on the musical. We're playing songs. I. Th- think what song were we he doing came, he came in late i'm pretty sure yeah he, he yeah came, i he think it was in coming late. in from work that he came day. in late he came in late and what song were we doing jared uh i want to say that we were doing uh it wasn't coming late. uh no no it was something with it was something with kaya we, we were we used were, to be maybe no, no, used to be was no, the no, day no, the no, day no, no, no. used to be was the day before i remember because uh, okay. we were there so late because it took so long to Wait, what, what was the one she was doing uh like the frozen Friday? Oh, was that Frozen Friday? No, this was Frozen Friday was the last day. Yeah, yeah this frozen was, was this was. Oh, um, not Frozen. Oh, just we'll do it live. Here. We're doing. We'll do it live. Oh, uh, okay. No, 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 no. It was either we'll do it live or we're doing um the first song. I uh, just got back. Just got back. It was one of those two that we were. You were uh, working no, with Kyle. It wasn't just got back. I'm. Oh my, I can't think. Um, I'm going to find out because I need to look at the nightmare track list. We. It was. Um. Uh, I don't know if it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't okay. matter. The, Sometime we were, in we were, September. We were, yeah, at one day. The song we were working on Kyle's helpers. We were working on the song. And it was Kaya singing, and me and Jake were playing the guitar, inventing one of our favorite songs of all time. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we can't tell you. Nope. Um, it's 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 for it's it'll be coming. It'll be produced next semester. Maybe next maybe the wmsc band produces this album maybe you'll hear it next semester maybe not maybe we don't attach it to the station at all <laughs> yeah let's, let's not do let's that one. Oh, I, I think it's for we'll do it live yeah so okay. we, i think it's for we'll do it live. tentative lore so is we'll do it live so, so we're doing not that. important to the story anyway so we're off on our own things and oh, uh everyone's doing their thing nate's helping kaya learn her voice part jared's uh it is frozen, oh, it's frozen, it was frozen. Yeah. i think it was frozen friday because like wasn't this isn't this where Kyle, like, I don't think this is the clip where he says it, but or may, it might just be a similar one. Either we'll do a live approach from yeah, Friday. So, it doesn't matter. So it's one of the nine songs. We, we Let's it. put it we like that. It. We get it. We're going to move on. So, yeah. Ky- so Kyle is, me and Jake are playing guitar. Nate is helping Kyle learn a part. And Jared is working on just making all the other, working on all the other songs that <laughs> we've are, however, have already been done. So everyone's Still doing their own assignments. And we come back and then, uh, Kyle walks in from the green room, which is right next to the Studio B where we recorded it. And he goes out of the green room, walks into Studio B, and he's there for like five minutes. Now, we know he took a nap because he didn't have much time to sleep last night. And he's just a little tired. And he just looks around and he just goes, is it 20 degrees colder in here? Then Kyle will home. And then instantly, <laughs> like I am not a serious individual. I love to drag jokes, mess around, say things that are dumb. Um, but that was a moment where my like serious fatherly side kicked in. And I said, Kyle, go home. Kyle, go home. And I was like yelling at this. And it was so funny a little bit too. And then he didn't. And then he didn't. And then he didn't. <laughs> he didn't listen. I'm pretty he, sure I he did. did eventually. But it took like yeah. a half hour to send you home. So you'd wait and you'd wait a half Maybe. hour. And then he finally goes home. Now, Kyle, I never told you the end of this story. Oh, no. 
So about two weeks after the musical is done, I'm annoyed. Uh, Kaya is annoying me in the office. So I'm like, I'm going to do my homework in the green room. I sit down in the green room. And I think to myself, man, feels like it's 20 degrees cold. I told you. I told yes, you. Yes, Nate did the same thing. I told you. I slept in the green room after I walked Jared back to the, his car one time because I had a shift at seven in the morning. I knew I wasn't going to be able to go back to my dorm and get there responsibly. So, you know, I just slept in the green room. You know what? When I woke up, it's 20 degrees colder in there. I thought, Kyle, I thought Kyle, you were dying. Vindicated. But I, I was, I was wrong. We have the clip too, and it's funny because yeah, I, like, there's no doubt. I'm behind you... Jared, I'm like, is this 20 degrees cold in here? You're like, Kyle. I'm like, what? Like, I was totally oblivious yeah, to what were, I said. There's no, were... there's no doubt that I had good reason to think you were dying. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, no, you, you Fair were, enough. you were correct. It was just t- coupled with the amount of tire that you were. It was very worrying. I was right for my decision, oh, wrong for my take. You were <laughs> right for your take, wrong for your decision. <laughs> that's fair. So that's fair. We were both right and wrong at the same time. But that's one of my favorite stories to mention to, about Kyle because it's just it's really funny to just have him just walk out looking like he's half alive and go, "Is it twenty degrees colder in here?" I'm like, "This man, this man's about to collapse and turn blue." Look, you got to put in the work for the art. It's about drive. It's about, it's about drive. Okay. Well, we did not organize that well. Well, yeah. I mean, one of my favorite things about. Um, Kyle as a potential musical was how like relatively because after we made the lyrics after he performed uh, Dead on Renewal um, his part was basically done but he kept coming uh, just to be support and honestly I appreciated the hell out of that Mm -hmm. um, because yeah thank you please I appreciated that a lot that Kyle stayed around even when you know largely his, his part of the musical was already done and um I really, I already explained it to you how, you know, even though you didn't necessarily quote unquote have to, like you coming around was very important, especially considering how in many departments, every individual in the musical carried it. Um, (laughs) Tara doing the most carrying. Um, But no, that was important that you stayed there. Like you embodied really what was important to me about how people connect at the station even when you don't necessarily have to be around that's the nature of hanging around in the office you're there because you want to be there with people you want to connect with them you know they're doing other build work collateral yeah exactly build collateral as they say in the most shout out professionally shout possible. out prof- shout out professor poland but, <laughs> build collateral but no yeah it's it was one of my favorite things that you just kept coming around and and you you always said that you don't need to be there but honestly i appreciated it thank you i appreciate you Kyle. Yeah, you know what you thank deserve you. you know what you deserve kyle a good old <laughs> Bonk. Yeah. Kyle came through in more ways than one, and not just with his brain, but with his manpower as as of the musical, he has become my go-to moving person. <laughs> so like yes. anytime mm-hmm. I have things to move from my car, if it's for an event or whatever instruments, I have a lot of baggage emotionally and otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> took my Bing joke. bang, Kyle. Took my joke. I'm like, uh, uh, yo, Kyle, can uh, can 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 I get some help with this? And even if it's all the way at car park, he's got me he on speed down, dial. Yeah, comes down, helps a brother out. <laughs> Not to call myself a brother, <laughs> but <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks. <laughs> um, uh, and and yeah, I, I really appreciate that. Even though in no way is he ever obligated to, but he does anyway. Hey, no problem. Up. Every time shows I help up. you move, it reminds myself my guitar has been sitting in that green room since yeah. we started. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm really having fun with these sound effects. <laughs> well, that's what I've been doing all the time on Tavern Time the last few episodes. Yeah. So, by the way, also shout out Kyle. You always carry my guitar back to and from the green room when I ask you to for no reason that's whatsoever. Barely. It makes me barely look like. An can I just say it makes me look like an absolute like, like it makes me look like a boss. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, do this for me. Honestly, that's nothing. Dude, it's like, five feet, feet like at Luke the Combs. most. Dude, yeah, I feel like, is that how Luke Combs feels all the time? <laughs> Kyle said on King's Chaos that he almost took a semester off. You're like, wow, Kyle took a semester off. Where would we be? 
You're where you're where we'd be. We'd be. Uh, I, I don't have a. Never mind. I don't have a. We don't, sound, don't effect have a sound effect for hold that. Hold on. One. Hold on. We we would be like. <laughs> Without Kyle, the musical would the musical would be a dream because it, it's it's one of the things where I'm just like, well, if I, I'm saying to Kyle, if I didn't say yes to the musical and I, if I didn't have the time, then we wouldn't have had Tara. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> without Tara, Here, without Tara, thing. we don't have without <laughs> with, without Tara, we don't have a musical. <laughs> without Tara, and also then, if I never got to know Tara, then. The Beatles show with Tom yeah. would have just been okay. So, if I didn't Nate, get to what know... you're saying is, if I took a semester off, the musical would have been a dream. But because I was there, it was a nightmare. Hey. I was going to say a reality, but hey, joke, you, want, joke, joke. you know what we'd be doing? Without you, while making the musical, we'd be reminiscing about how much better it would be with you. And that's where we're going to go to another what reminiscing song of... that Kyle helped write. And while it's really more credited to me, Kyle yeah. wrote like about 30% of the song. That's fair. I'd say <laughs> Kyle wrote the whole bridge. Like I didn't touch the bridge. Really? You wrote the bridge. I remember that because I just said I said nothing of that when we did went over it. All right. Well, the bridge on, was completely different. I was like, okay. I'm on little sleep. So we, we don't have a good like 55% of the music without Kyle's lyrics. Yeah. So yeah, this yeah, is thanks. so this is a song that me and Kyle wrote together. It is a it's quite, I think, personally, I think this is some of the best lyrics we wrote in five minutes of I all time. I think with a, with a few here or there, I think this is the best song from the entire musical that can stand on its own without relation oh, yeah. to the story behind it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Used to with be, a few lyrics here and there in the chorus. I said yeah. before, I'll say it again, used to be my favorite song from... The Nightmare Before World College Radio Day, and a lot of it is because of how, like, it can just be enjoyed by itself, yeah. independent from the musical. It's like it's just a good song without context. And yeah, here's exactly. another one of, as Nate knows, my five minute hooks that I put on, <laughs> my five minute hooks that I give the station. <laughs> and you put in work for this one. Yes, yeah, like, so this one was a tough. This one, it was easy. To, honestly, it took literally one percent of the time of making the song was spent writing one percent 99 percent of it was doing recording. everything else the lyrics of the song and the production of it and just the amount of time it took to record it just it's like the whole thing is college radio yeah, yeah. My, my part was on just like the first take every time i'm just <laughs> saying <laughs> i'm joking here is used to be overall good pretty good song good writing i'd wow, say <laughs> yeah yeah overall Oof. pretty solid song <laughs> Um, so Kyle yes Kyle so hi I'm here so we wrote the chorus first I mean co writing the chorus musical or not that's how I write most of my songs just because that's what comes to me first and then I just kind of build around it I feel you I feel you the important part comes first yeah, 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 yeah. Now, catchy part yeah the chorus is the easiest Verses yeah. are the hardest, and then connecting them. Oh, yes. Yeah. Choruses are more of a bridge than verses sometimes. Yeah. All right, now, I have a big question. This is the one. We have the lovely, the talented, my best friend, Jake Getz, in studio here. Now, Jake, hello, hello, hello. what is your most Kyle story you got? Oh, gosh. I feel like, I don't know. I have so many Kyle stories. They all just kind of shut up. Kyle, oh man, Kyle, shut up just for a little while before I mess, mess you up, <laughs> mess, mess you up. How up, how up, how up, how up, yeah, but I will say, I have <laughs> back, back um, to what we were talking about <laughs> today was the last day of the Tuesday class. And oh, yeah. I served as co-host where Kyra was the host. And yeah, we, I, it's been, you know, this is crazy to me. I still don't really, but it's been thrown around that Tuesday is considered the best. Yeah. Like, I don't know. People like just, I don't know. Yes. People are, many people are saying yes, this. It is. Um, I don't know. And I, but, and I, I don't know. It's crazy for me because I say a lot of dumb things and I stumble a lot. 
but so do I. It makes a lot of sense with Kyle. No, nah, you really? carry the buzz well, um, and it's mm, been great doing it with you. Thank you. Likewise, Jake. <sighs> it it's it's something special. I I've worked with a lot of different co-hosts, and it, it's something different with you. It's something special. <laughs> I, I really yeah. enjoyed it. And of course, not to discredit you, but obviously there's other people who helped us too. Oh, All of our course. newscasters, Campbell Donovan, Campbell, our regular sports Cam, caster, Ali who's filled in, Ali Orario, Monty Zuniga, and of course our tunes on Tuesday segment host, Emily McCormack. Hey yo. Hey. Yeah. So we Hey nice yo. Hey course, yo, bing bang. Of He's course, kissing the cop car. Of uh, course, and- we connect the most, obviously, as co- host and co host, mm-hmm. but we have an amazing crew. And, yeah. you know, shout out to Kenny and Isaiah. Oh, uh, that's another Actually, big. Isaiah might not have been in position when the schedule was made. Shout out to Kenny. Shout out to Kenny for pu- putting this crew together because yeah. he knows people and he knows how they work together. He wanted and- me and I left him. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> you know, you you Burn. spend a long time sharing stories about me, but I I, I just want to say, Kenny, I don't know where you are right now, or if you're listening, but man, hey hey Nate, thank you, you so Kenny? much. I'm gonna miss you. I am gonna. We're, miss we're gonna Kenny. get we're gonna get Kenny. We're gonna get Kenny. Kenny's coming. Yeah. Kenny's around. Green room. Green room. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Kenny's um, always around. Yeah, Kenny, Kenny's Kenny here. Kenny is a hard worker. Yeah. Kenny, if it's not Kenny, it's Mike. Yeah. <laughs> the people yeah. that are always here. I'm always here too, right? What'd you say? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you guys all lived majority. here. What? I thought you're, you guys... here, you're here for a good majority too. You, uh, I uh, something I admire about the S and P, all of them, is they are hard workers. They will they stay to, admittedly unhealthy hours of the night, getting stuff done because they know how important it is. That's how much I love you, kiddo. D A D J's. <laughs> Kyle's watch me make your assignments and oh yeah, get print out all your proctoring set up when you guys and you guys always pick the times that I'm in class. Yeah. By the way. Emily, talking about you. I wish I could have been an ADJ. When they you literally were doing it. always what? pick when I'm in class. They oh. always pick when I'm in class. Well, Did I pick well, when you you're in class? Available? You wanted to be an ADJ when you want to be part of their course. I wish. It, yeah, I wish I got to do it. With... I, I'm not a bad teacher, and I guess that's funny because I, I guess I kind of did it with Josh. So I guess that's kind of yeah. saying something. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know that. I wouldn't have done it on purpose. What? Oh no, it's okay. I was just joking. All right. So, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm not that mean. <laughs> ben was my proctor <laughs> twice. Oh, yeah. Marty, let's not talk about that. Uh, the doctor <laughs> once. No, I I think it's it's good to say twice because that that means I've learned. Yeah, yeah. You oh, all... you were my proctor three. Uh, well, you were my proctor twice, but I was proctor three times. So, yeah, listen. It there's nobody. If you think if you are an ADJ out there listening, because I know a lot of you ADJs listen, no matter what time it is. If you're an hey, ADJ yo. that's listening, just know, it's funny. Jake and Mike have the records right now for most proctor day dj courses and the worst written test grade <laughs> of all time yeah well, well i did good on the um you got I did a, good. you got you got one wrong on the yeah i did well course. on the written test how, how did we know our scores on the written because i was never trained properly on the board that's i I, I know everyone scores on the written off the top of your head like probably i could get it close to right. also did i get a hundred morning buzz producer <laughs> but not, for, okay. not for long kenny horman has entered the call call Hey, yo, That's, studio, whatever yes, you want to call it. Yes, the standing studio call in person. Yeah. That's oh, the one. he looks like he looks like a dad. Yep, there it is. <laughs> you look like you look like a biker. Got any dude. new material, Ben? You look like you look. Oh wait, hold on. Just recycling old stuff. Oh. Mm, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You look like you look like the soccer dad. No, no, no. I got it. You look like the get the guy that goes up to the waiter and goes, "Excuse me, sir. I'm really unappreciative of this burger." And then they spit in your food and give it back and you eat it anyway. Who says I'm Wait. unappreciative of a burger? I'm sorry. No, you know what? That's not important. You're, You're the male give... Karen. You're a male Karen. Where... I'd say I, I, I feel like I'm inserting myself into this uh, roasting match, but this would be Kenny would have such a nice outfit if it wasn't for the sweatpants. Kenny would have such a nice outfit if it wasn't for Kenny. <laughs> oh, oh Kenny, get out of here. Kenny, he was that was ready. me. I don't condone that. Kenny, you... Jake, I appreciate that. And I want to point out, by the way, that... I, I, email's mom. I promise you, I love Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny's one of my boys. I love him. No. I make fun of him because I love him. Jody understands. No one else now. is okay. going to have realized this. And Ben's going to make fun of me for saying this. But 
I've worn a similar variation of this outfit before. I not once that I have not, I don't repeat mm. outfits very yes. often. It's called the woman repellent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my point is, I don't repeat outfits. So if you haven't uh, seen yeah. me wear this. I've done the better yes, variation. Yes. This I is the new one. This yes, is the new this one. This is the new yeah. one. Yes, yes. No one has noticed that at all, I guarantee. Yeah. But it's probably not. Yeah. Clearly. And I figure Ben's going to make fun of me for that. Yeah. Oh, the woman okay. repellent. The woman repellent. Uh, this is this is the uh this is the new uh winter edition of wait, woman repellent. Outfits? Yes. Yeah. So oh, if okay, enough it's good, I try not to wear it for a very long time again. Getting cold outside. Variation. You know? <laughs> Wanna be yeah, left no, on red? We have a comment. Uh, we have a comment. I have, all, I have a lot of the same clothes, so you can make variation. Kenny, 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 we got yeah, a comment. Kenny, we got a comment. Kenny, Kenny. I would like to confirm that Jody is listening right now. Yes. You are? <laughs> yes. No, I do. I didn't right, get to. Man. I'm so sorry, Miss McCormack. But I did not get to meet you today. Yeah, me by too. the way, I, class I felt I felt bad. I was told by Emal that I I couldn't I couldn't meet you today. I'm really sorry. And by the way, I really can't emphasize enough. Me and Kenny are best uh, not best friends, but we're, we're, we're pretty good friends. We're acquaintances. We're, we're <laughs> we've, they're they're we've coworkers. Acquainted. We've acquainted. We've acquainted. No, we're pretty. Jody, we're homies. We're homies. Jody um, says so much boy. love. And yes. now there are dots. So much love to you too. So much love. And now we're waiting. Okay, and Kenny, now. So Kenny. So yeah, Kyle, actually say what you're supposed to say. Yeah, we were, we were, where Ben's idea for this final hour was to share stories about oh me. Uh -huh. And so Jake has brought up the morning buzz and how we're the best crew. Uh, not our, not our words. That people, others. people have said, people, have people said are that. saying this. Uh, this so, is a thing people are saying. I've, uh, if sorry. you turn on the news, it's all they're talking about. Sorry, we're just um, better. But I, I, I did want to say thank you for putting this crew together. Me, Jake. Together. What? They put themselves together. Oh, uh, it's true. But I, I was going to say thank you for all you've done. I'm going to miss you when you go. I'm going to miss you as well, Kyle. Thank you. Well, I'll still be here. You can come visit me for well, I'll have my four months. Yeah. Weekly, uh, my weekly alumni show. Hey. 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 hey oh. It'll be midnight, so nobody will be here. As long as it's not seven Bold hours again. Never that. again. I don't know if I can Never. do that. Yeah. Exactly. No. Also, I want to do that again tonight. <laughs> yeah, speaking, you can. You're a DJ. Yeah, speaking yeah. of which. <laughs> you can do, do the DJ. Speaking of which, I, I would like to point out that we've had this TV in the studio on all day, and just now it's going into idle standby mode. <laughs> Literally 24 hours later. It's being like, okay, now nobody. Wait, wait no one's been touching now. this. <laughs> nobody has touched that TV all day, and it's now finally hold on, deciding. Hold on, I'm going to take it off idle standby. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? There you go, I took it off. If that TV's doing a live 24 hours. <laughs> ah, see, it's no longer idle. And that's uh, not what the box studio, is. That's a studio B. A studio B in the dark. How weird would it be if some we just saw somebody in there? Oh, oh my tell. gosh. Or cool. I just gave it myself nightmares. Bro, I'm looking at it like, and now I think that just someone's gonna go up in the camera. Like, oh, yeah. stop! We're stop! I'm not. We're changing the camera. We can't turn, like, turn the lights back on. We're changing the camera. It. Oh my goodness, if Jared did <laughs> that. Okay, we're good. Hey. Oh, no, oh, God! oh God! Oh God! Ah! Oh, it's me. It's me. All right, the camera <laughs> moves to me. Uh, ben just changed it to the camera me. in this room. Jeez. So we're looking look at like, us, looking at us. If I switch over this way, I won't be in it. And now that I see a picture of myself, man, I need a haircut. It's radio, anyway. it doesn't matter. Okay, that's fair. And also, yeah. Ben, you need a haircut? I don't think my hair's been Guys, cut since I like October. I think I'm the winner here when it comes to needing a hair. Yeah. Anyway, Fun last fact, thing, last thing, Kyle. Kyle, I want to say one last thing. Yeah. Or, no, Kenny. Wow. I, wait, Kenny has something to say. Let ben, him speak. Geez. Fun fact, Before you wrap up. We went to the S&P picnic in July. The reason I knew I was at the right place is because I saw someone who's six foot three and had a giant hair. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> right. So, Kyle, this is uh, before we go into your iconic song. I have to say something to you. I think without hesitation, I think you will agree with me when I say I bully you. Yeah. <laughs> I, do, I do low-key bully you. What it, is. it is what it is. But I have to say, uh, I do love you, no matter how many times uh, I treat you like Aww. poo. But, uh, but, also, but also, this is what I have to say. Before, th I have this, what you just did today, I'm very proud of you. Yeah. This is, I am so Absolutely. proud of you. This was I don't think any of us would have been able to do that one well, Nate, but I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> and Kenny, uh, Kenny's up there too. Uh, Kenny, Kenny's already been up for over 24 hours. Kenny would stall out. 
I, I took a two-hour nap in there. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. So besides that, Kyle, Kyle you're the second. I put you second to be able to do this. <laughs> Kelly, get out of here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Sal, stop being adorable. Yeah, Sal, simp. Anyway, sorry, I I lost track. Sorry, Kyle. Um, this but I have to say, I'm nightmare. so. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm very proud of you. You did something that's really difficult. You did something that I consider to be the most challenging thing that I've seen all semester. And we wrote a musical in two, two weeks. This is the most challenging thing. Took a lot of guts to do something like this. And I cannot believe that a joke got this far. Yeah. I was, I would like to I point was out, kidding. With that being said, way. with that being said, I would like to point out Chaz has sent in our discord that the longest ever radio show recorded was held by an Italian DJ who lasted a total of 183 hours. All just right. over a well, week. Well, one day well, we got to do that. Well, Kyle. Honestly, we'll do it live 183 hours. <laughs> we'll do it live 183 hours. <laughs> Doesn't fit as well. But anyway. Wait, how many days is that? Just about a week. Just about a week? Just yeah. over a week. It's a week and 15 hours. That could be managed. Yeah. Wow. Did you, did you just math, math that big out? Math. Well, I know that there's 168 hours in a week. You know, um, just you knowledge are, you have all the you time. Are, can I just say, Kenny? You know what, Kenny? This is why you're a nerd. So I am afraid. a nerd for many more reasons than that. Yeah, you're just... All right, so, Ben, right, how so are we wrapping up 24 hours of we're Kyle? We're 24 hours of Kyle with the iconic song. Actually, wait. Oh. Let, let, let's try that again. Kyle, once it hits noon, I'm going to start bullying you again. Okay. So I'd, I'd, I'd yeah. stop noon. bullying up collateral. <laughs> okay. Midnight. Okay. Uh, noon. Ben... <laughs> How are we wrapping up 24 hours of Kyle? We are going, oh, oh, hey. We are going to wrap up 24 hours of Kyle with the iconic song from the WMSC musical, The Nightmare Before College Radio Day. Jared, what is this song called and who's it by? It's called Jared. The New One. It's by Kyle, aka the SEC. <laughs>